Hey, how you doing, folks? Attitude to Tim Killikin for OutstandingPoker.com. I have uh, Errol, our fellow Outstanding Poker Pro here, uh, who deals primarily in, in live play. Uh, we're going to do a video today on beating uh, the low stakes live uh, no limit hold'em, uh, specifically the really loose, passive, zillion limber type games that uh, I'm sure a lot of you have experienced and been wondering, well, how do I how do I beat these stupid games against the guys that never fold, that sort of thing. So um, we're going to go through some of the strategies uh, and adjustments you need to make in those games compared to uh, the online games that we have been dealing with in a lot of uh, our usual videos. So, uh, Errol, if you want to uh, give us a brief uh, introduction in your background in live game and some of the things you've been experiencing there. Okay, so basically I've been playing um, live for the last two years, um, 5-10 No Limit, and recently I've noticed, um, I've experienced a downfall of about 15 to 20 buy-ins um, at the 5-10, um, just getting bad luck and whatnot, and partially bad play. So I've dropped down to 2-5, and I've um, talked to Tim about um, giving me some suggestions and some pointers on what exactly to do to combat uh, all the horrendous play you see at the lower limits. Mostly at the, the, the 5-10 and 10-20 No Limit um, level, you see um, one or two players that really don't know what they're doing, but it's... Uh, these day and age, you see a lot of uh, the online pros play. When they go live, they play um, 5.10 or 10.20. So you don't really see that much limping and that sort of thing. So, um, but at the 2.5 level, you see a lot of guys um, who are 100% uh, limp happy and they'll never raise preflop unless they have aces and kings so, um, or a premium hand. So I want to go over with Tim um, what exactly we can do to exploit these players and um, how to uh, get the free money at the table. Yeah, that's good. Um, and yeah, like you were saying, just a zillion limpers and some of the, the major uh, adjustments that you need to make. And, and, and even 2-5 as well as 1-2, which a lot of you guys will play if, you, if you're just getting into like the live game. I think they play pretty similarly. Like, I mean, 1-2 probably even more passive than 2-5 than if it's even possible. So we're just going to be talking about that just whole general game plan of uh, how to beat, beat those guys. So... Um, Moving on into sort of, we have a, a little PowerPoint to go through to sort of guide our discussion, but we kind of want to leave it open-ended and just talk about, uh, uh, like we said, the, the adjustments you need to make in those games and how to really uh, crush crush these type of guys. So um, when you're in a game with really passive players and, and they're limp-happy, never fold, um, it, you're going to have to make one major adjustment is that you're not going to be able to bluff or even just continuation, but nearly as often as you are um, in an in a aggressive online game where most you, most pots are heads up where you isolate a limper or, or whatever. I mean, given that it's six max, a lot of, most hands are, are just heads up, but in the, in the live uh, full ring, low stakes games, you get a ton of limpers, which translates into a ton of multi-way pots. So the big adjustment that you need to make there is um, shifting your your game plan from really just pounding the, the players uh, or a single player and isolating him and pounding them with aggression to playing a lot of hands that uh, play well multi-way um, and with potential hit monsters and then really extracting value from your opponents that, uh, as you've experienced, never never will fold. Um, does that make sense, Errol? Like what, uh, what have you been seeing in these games? I've been seeing a lot of limpers. And when I mean a lot of limpers, I mean... Like seven or eight guys will limp preflop, and um, even if there are guys who are raising the pots, there are guys who will raise to like twenty dollars, even when like five or six guys limp. And it's just not profitable from what I've seen. But um, yeah, if we can go over some of the ways to combat that. That would be just great. Yeah. So um, moving on into like preflop play, uh, our next slide here. Um, there's kind of three scenarios that you're going to have. You're going to have uh, one where every, everyone folds to you and you're, you're first to act uh, in, the, uh, in the hand. And that will play similarly to uh, what we've talked with all the online uh, uh, type videos where you want to be opening, uh, depending on your position, uh, players left to act behind you, opening a wide range, never limping, um, and, and, and playing it aggressively uh, depending on your hand strength and your position at the table. Um, but another scenario that is not as common online where, is where there's limpers ahead of you and guys that you know will, will, will limp call and then if there's a couple limpers, the first guy calls and multiple, like, multiple guys call uh, and you just, you, then you end up with a multi-way pot and you're, 